they started the process with something called the League of Nations which had its headquarters in Geneva, the city where I studied international relations, Geneva. But then the, the League of Nations collapsed because the United States refused to enter the League of Nations. And then came the Second World War. And when the Second World War was concluding, they gathered the victors in San Francisco, was it San Francisco? to establish the United Nations Organization. This was 1944, I believe. Um, every state in the world now had to become a member of the United Nations Organization. And if you refuse to become a member of the United Nations Organization, you're in plenty of trouble they will take action against you and punish you and punish you and punish you. I don't know how much you know about your history about when Malaysia was born. You're too young. And Sokarno, Ahmad Sokarno, out of anger because he felt this was a British imperial creation took Indonesia out of the UN. Did you know that? But <laughs> it didn't survive for long. And Indonesia had to go back into the UN. To the best of my knowledge, the only state which stayed out of the UN for a long, long time and was not punished was Switzerland. But after Switzerland had done the work that Switzerland knew, knew that it has done, I don't need to tell you what it was. It then became necessary for Switzerland as well to join the United Nations Organization. The United Nations Organization was structured with a lower house, like Parliament, you know, Senate and the House of Representatives. So the United Nations Organization was structured like that. That all the states of the world will become members of the General Assembly. And in the General Assembly, they will all be recognized to be politically equal. So, a little Trinidad and Tobago, where I was born, next door to Venezuela, with a population of uh, about 1.3 million. Huh? This little Trinidad and Tobago has a political status equal to the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. Huh? Did you hear that? And there are some other states in the Caribbean which are less than that. Grenada, the island of Grenada probably has about 90,000 people. Less than PJ. <laughs> less than PJ. <laughs> And Little Grenada has a political status of political equality with the entire Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. This is the nonsense that we accepted in the charter of the United Nations organization. Is this what you have done to the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam? By accepting this nonsense? But the General Assembly of the United Nations Organization did not have any power to enforce any resolutions. It was a talk shop. But the Security Council of the United Nations was a different matter. The Zionists who created the United Nations Organization on Dajjal's behalf made sure that they took control of the Security Council. The Security Council had authority. Let me read for you. In order, Article 24, remember Allah is al Akbar. But this charter is saying, no, Allah is not al Akbar. The Security Council is al Akbar. Whoever has supreme authority, 
Supreme authority means there is no other authority above it. No. That is Al-Akbar. Allah is Al-Akbar. You cannot perform Salat. You cannot move in Salat without saying Allahu Akbar. Well, listen to who is Al-Akbar. Article 24. I quote, In order to ensure prompt and effective action by the United Nations, its members including the entire Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, incidentally, its members confer on the Security Council primary responsibility, meaning supreme responsibility, for the maintenance of international peace and security. In all matters pertaining to war and peace in the world, the Security Council of the United Nations has primary responsibility, meaning supreme responsibility. Meaning the authority of the Security Council is supreme. Is there any authority above the Security Council? Where is it? On the moon? Huh? Where is it? There is no authority in the world today recognized above the Security Council of the UN. And so the Security Council of the UN is Al-Akbar. If you don't believe me, wait until you get in your grave. They wanted to put a nail in the coffin, so he had listened to Article 25. The members of the United Nations, which includes the entire Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, agree to accept and to carry out the decisions of the Security Council in accordance with the present charter. Even when the Security Council gives an order which is in conflict with what Allah and His Messenger have ordered, you have an obligation to obey the Security Council. And so they succeeded and they succeeded splendidly in selling this institution of the United Nations Organization to the entire world and getting the entire world to submit to their authority in the Security Council. Binding resolutions of the Security Council. I wonder who are the Security Council? Who are the Security Council? The Security Council is divided into two parts, very cunningly on their part. Dajjal is a mastermind. There are the permanent members of the Security Council. Permanent means, even in Bahasa it means forever and ever.